Okay, people, welcome to a new one. This is your body, web three body, your favorite body in the whole of crypto and the internet at large. Okay, today we're going to be talking about pipe staking. So, if you have actually been paying attention to what's been happening in this space, a lot of projects have been incentivizing people that have been staking their native tokens. Projects like Tia, Osmos, Injective, and a lot of Cosmos ecosystem. And now people are actually speculating that the same thing can happen on the Solana ecosystem. So Pytes is actually an Oracle network on the Solana ecosystem and a lot of projects utilize Pytes for their price feeds, data and a lot of Web3 dev side stuff which I can't actually go into right now. But anyway, if you have been paying attention to the Solana ecosystem, you can see that a lot of projects have been building but they don't have tokens yet and they have said that yes, will be doing an airdrop to incentivize people that have been farming or have been providing liquidity on our platforms. Do you get what I'm saying? And now people are like, okay, if you stake your pipe because most of these projects actually use pipes, you could get an airdrop. So it's like a win-win. Although I'm not saying that if you stake your pipe, you will get an airdrop. I actually believe in pipes. I believe in what they are doing. I look at pipes similar to Link and I feel like Link did well in the last bull run. Link is like, so what link is to Ethereum is what Pyte is to Solana. So I feel like if Solana is going to do well, just like a lot of people are actually paying attention to it, then Pyte will do very well. So if you want to know how to stake your Pyte, probably for some airdrop in the future, or if not, and you believe in Pyte just like me, then let's get into the video. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so um, now we are here. So the first thing you're actually going to do is go to Twitter and search for Pyte Network and follow them you know if you're an edge of farmer that's like the least basic thing you can do because a lot of these protocols actually incentivize people to actually follow their socials socials is part of edge of farming so just try and follow them and also read up some stories don't just believe everything you see on youtube or believe everything an influencer says read up for yourself understand why people are actually investing in these pro projects by yourself. You are in crypto for goodness sake. Do your own research. We always say, do your own research. Anyway, after you follow them and you actually read up some stuff, the next thing you should actually do is try and get some pipes. So there are two ways to get some pipes. So then I get to some pipes from the centralized exchange, like from KuCoin, Bybit, Binance, OKX, ETC. There are a lot of them. You can buy your pipes on those platforms. Or if you're if you're an on-chain guy like me and you're like, you know how to maneuver and you know do stuff and you have like some money in your solana wallet you can just go to jupiter exchange on the solana ecosystem and swap some solana to pipes either way you still get your pipe now once you have your pipe the next thing you should do is come to staking.pipe.network that's where you actually want to stake your pipe so when you come here the first thing you definitely do is connect your wallet obviously so after connecting your wallet to show you how much part you actually have in your wallet i'm not saying 1000 is the minimum what is being said on twitter is that 1000 is the minimum to stick if you want an edge of and remember part is not that costly it's cheap now so probably i guess that's why so once you connect your wallet it shows how much you have and the next thing you click on is amount of pipe tokens you want to stick click on it and just stick it click on stake, confirm the transaction, and that's it. As you can see here, I have 1,060 pipes staked. Remember, I'm not staking this for the airdrops. If an airdrop comes, fine. I'm staking this because I actually believe in this particular project long term. Just like I said earlier, because of what they actually do, which is also advisable to read up on. Now, another thing, another thing you should know is that if you want to unstake your pipes, it's actually going to take you seven days before it gets back to you so you can withdraw. So you should know all this before you actually stake your pipe. Once you stake it, it starts counting from a Thursday. So it should be like, if you stake it today, you have to wait to Thursday, then you count Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That is when you can actually unstake it. That's if you want. And you have to wait for another seven days for your tokens to get to you before you can be able to withdraw them. So if you feel like the risk is worth it and you have actually made your own research, not just believing everything you hear, but you have made your own new research and you're like, okay, yeah, you're comfortable with staking this. Remember, like I said earlier, I don't know if staking your pipes will give you an edge, but the possibility is actually there. So anyway, 
you have to actually make your choice right now so this is the end of this video please if you like stuff like this give us a like on this video it actually helps the algorithm and it helps this channel grow and also don't forget to subscribe because like i said in one of my videos i've noticed that people that actually watch videos on these channels are not actually subscribed to it so please subscribe anyway thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for sticking with the channel see you in the next one